Every single day, this electrified beverage facility churns out over a million cans of liquid adrenaline, an energy drink empire in motion. Monster Energy may be a cultural icon, a symbol of speed and edge and rebellion, but behind the brand is a process defined not by chaos, but by science, precision, and scale. From synthetic caffeine blends to high-speed filling lines, this is how Monster Energy is made, inside the factory. What began as a challenger brand in the early 2000s is now a global juggernaut, selling billions of cans annually across 140 countries. Its unmistakable black and green design, paired with slogans about performance and power, helped turn it into one of the most recognized energy drinks on Earth. But underneath the marketing lies a rigorous, highly controlled manufacturing process, one engineered for consistency, speed, and a very specific kind of punch. It all starts with water. Industrial-grade filtered water makes up over 90% of every can. But it's not just tap water. It's reverse osmosis purified, passed through UV sterilizers, and deionized to strip out minerals that could alter flavor or react with active ingredients. Once cleared, the water moves into temperature-controlled blending tanks, massive stainless steel vessels that can hold tens of thousands of liters. This is where the base is built. First, citric acid and sodium citrate are added to regulate pH and create the signature tangy profile. Then come the sweeteners, glucose syrup, sucrose or high fructose corn syrup, depending on the formula and market. Monster drinks are designed to hit hard and taste strong, so flavor enhancers and acidifiers are measured down to the milligram. Next, it's time for the actives, the ingredients that define an energy drink. Synthetic caffeine, sourced from certified suppliers, is introduced and dissolved thoroughly. Most monster drinks contain 160 milligrams of caffeine per 16-ounce can, nearly double that of a standard soda. But caffeine alone doesn't do the trick. A blend of B vitamins, B2, B3, B6, B12, is added to aid energy metabolism and reinforce the functional aspect of the drink. Then come the signature additions, taurine, glucuronolactone, inositol, L-carnitine. Each of these has a role. Taurin, an amino acid, is believed to help regulate energy and hydration. Glucuronolactone, a glucose metabolite, is marketed as a detoxifier. L-carnitine plays a part in fatty acid transport within cells. Whether the science is universally agreed upon or not, the formulation is calculated with pharmaceutical-grade accuracy. Sensors track concentration levels, while inline spectrometers monitor color, clarity, and solution uniformity. Meanwhile, flavors are prepared in parallel. Unlike soda, which typically has one or two flavor variants, Monster produces dozens. Original, Zero Ultra, Mango Loco, Pipeline Punch, and more. Each requires a unique blend of natural and artificial flavors, colorings, and stabilizers. Flavor bases are concentrated, then dosed into the mixing tank at precise ratios. Some are fruit-forward. Others include herbal extracts like guarana or ginseng. Every blend is tested for aroma, mouthfeel, and aftertaste. Once mixed, the energy drink base is pasteurized using high-temperature, short-time HTST methods, briefly heating the liquid to around 85 degrees Celsius, then rapidly cooling it to prevent microbial growth while preserving flavor integrity. Samples are pulled and sent to the in-house lab, where technicians run dozens of quality control checks. Viscosity, pH, bricks, turbidity, caffeine concentration, and microbial load. If even one result falls outside the approved range, the entire batch is held. Assuming the base clears inspection, it's pumped through insulated lines toward the most dynamic part of the factory, the filling and canning line. First, empty aluminum cans are depalletized and sent through an air conveyor to rinse and sanitize. They move so fast they appear to blur, thousands per minute. 
Each can passes through a vacuum rinser and a high-speed vision scanner that checks for dents, deformities, or misprints. The ones that fail are ejected automatically. Then the sterile energy drink is gravity-fed into the filler carousel, a rotating platform with over 100 individual filling valves. Liquid flows in precisely. There's no foam, no splash. Fill height is calibrated within one millimeter tolerance. Next, the cans slide under the seamer where a pull tab lid is crimped on at 2,000 cans per minute. The entire process, from rinse to sealed lid, takes just seconds. Once sealed, the cans are inverted, washed again, and passed through pasteurization tunnels, low temperature baths that ensure shelf stability without cooking the drink. This step is subtle but essential. It protects the flavor profile and ensures the product remains safe for months, even years, in warehouses and on shelves. After pasteurization, the cans cool and dry before moving on to coating and packing. Here, laser printers stamp each can with a batch number, manufacturing date, and traceable lot code. Robotic arms stack cans into multi-packs, 4, 6, 12, or 24 packs, depending on the destination. Shrink wrap tunnels seal the bundles. Palletizers load them with algorithmic precision. And forklifts roll them into the distribution dock, ready to be shipped across continents. Throughout this entire process, cleanliness is paramount. Filling lines are enclosed in clean room conditions. Operators wear protective gear. The air is filtered for particulates. Clean in place, CIP systems, flush tanks, pipes and fillers with caustic solutions and hot water between every major batch. Every hour, inspectors walk the line, swabbing surfaces, running microbiological tests, and logging readings into digital QC dashboards. The human element doesn't end there. Food scientists regularly run taste panels comparing each batch to gold standard reference cans. Line workers monitor flow meters, recalibrate sensors, and respond to alarms. Maintenance teams rotate 24-7, ready to repair conveyor belts, filler heads, or lid stampers within minutes. While automation handles the repetition, people ensure reliability. Globally, Monster produces drinks in multiple facilities, from North America to Europe to Southeast Asia. While some recipes are tweaked slightly for local tastes, sweeter in Thailand, less acidic in Germany, the core production logic remains identical. Every can, no matter where it's made, must meet the same performance standards. And the numbers are staggering. Over 4 billion cans sold annually. Dozens of product lines. Billions in revenue. Monster has built not just a beverage, but a lifestyle. Backed by sports sponsorships, music events, gaming collabs, and bold branding. But even a brand this extreme must evolve. The rise of sugar-free alternatives has led to a wave of ultra-variants, lighter, crisper, zero-calorie formulations using sucralose and acesulfame potassium instead of sugar. These drinks require different balances of acid, carbonation, and viscosity. Factories adjust accordingly, dedicating separate tanks, adjusting fill speeds, and tweaking temperature curves during pasteurization to protect artificial sweeteners. In parallel, the company has launched hydration lines, coffee-infused hybrids, and even alcohol-based energy drinks under spin-off labels. Each innovation demands new machinery, new ingredient supply chains, and new safety protocols. From recipe to release, a new drink can take over a year to develop and scale. And behind every innovation, the mission remains the same to energize, electrify, and stand out on a shelf flooded with competition. So the next time you crack open a can of Monster, feel that hiss of pressure and take a sip, remember this. It's more than a jolt of sugar and caffeine. It's the end product of food science, flavor chemistry, industrial design, and extreme logistics, all engineered to deliver energy in every drop. If you enjoyed this deep dive into how your favorite drinks are made, there's plenty more where that came from. Don't forget to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a step inside the factory. Got a favorite monster flavor or a product you're dying to see made from the inside out? Let us know in the comments below. You suggest it, we just might explore it. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and stay energized.